The first thing you need to know is everything I'm going to talk to you about today is evidence-based. We have ample research that shows that if you, you as a teammate or, you, or your team exhibits X behavior, it leads to better outcomes. The, the science of teamwork has a long history, over almost 100 years. But the last 30, 35 years, it's been, um, the, there was a transformation in the science. The science began to study real teams, real, real things with experts. Before that, in the 50s and 40s, the, the whole field of group dynamics, we're studying essentially sophomores uh, at universities uh, performing um, team tasks in a very contrived environment. That shifted. Why did it shift? Well, a number of incidents happened in, in the 80s uh, that led to that. So the agency the, that is most interested in teamwork till today is the military. So the military, as you know, uh, does everything in teams. In fact, I started my career with the military. Uh, in 1984, the Navy hired me to develop a team performance laboratory. And so uh, we started this process of trying to understand what is teamwork, what is team performance, and the like. In 1988, a USS uh, cruiser, Navy cruiser, the USS Vincennes, shut down by mistake an Airbus. Um, 325, I think it was 324 people died. So the US Congress decided, said, how come we have the premier battleship at a cost of $1 billion with a B? And we make this kind of mistake. Long story short, uh, Congress allocated money to the Department of Defense to try to study team decision making under stress. And that influx of money in the late 80s led to an explosion of research trying to understand, again, experts doing real things in real teams. So basically, we will study teams in the wild. So the military till today continues to look at that. The second industry that is very much interested in this and affects all of you is the airlines. Every time you take a, an airplane to go home to visit your parents or spring break, you hope that the flight deck has been team trained, that the uh, maintenance people have been team trained. So the airlines for about 25, 30 years have been trying to improve teamwork, team decision making in the cockpit. And the reason is, some of you may or may not know this, about 80% of the accidents or mishaps in aviation are due to poor communication and poor teamwork. And so till today, uh, all the airlines, including the FAA, actually, actually the FAA now mandates in a way that pilots, in order to renew their license, that they take a teamwork test. And, and so the airlines continue to uh, do that. The third industry is the oil and gas. Imagine this, every time there's a hurricane through the Gulf of Mexico, and thank God there are not many, they have to evacuate hundreds of people, if not thousands, very quickly. In case you don't know, there are about 1,800, 2,000 oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico. And so they have to evacuate these people very quickly, and they have to bring them back very quickly. So the oil industry is investing a lot, a lot of money on that. And another industry that has been interested in this is the corporate world. So I told you I started my career in the mid-'80s in Florida. 20 years, essentially, the corporate world was not interested in teamwork until recently. Why? So a couple of studies have come out in science that basically uh, a couple of economists have analyzed patents that have been awarded in the US for the last 100 years. And what they found was that for the first 80 years, patents were awarded to individuals, by and large. The last 20 years. 90% of the patents have been awarded to multidisciplinary teams. So industry has made the connection that innovation, generation of knowledge, comes from multidisciplinary teams. And therefore, there are a lot of interest in trying to understand what is collaboration, what is teamwork, and the like. The final group I want to talk to you about is, is also uh, probably the most fascinating work I'm doing right now, NASA. Imagine, all, imagine this. If we go to Mars in 2035, we're going to send a team. The team is going to be four individuals, multicultural, probably be a Russian, maybe a Japanese. As of today, is one female, it's planned. And this crew, this team, is going to go in on a 30-month journey. 10 months to get to Mars, eight, nine months to, uh, to do research there, to live there, and 10 months to come back. 
And so NASA has decided that teamwork, team cohesion, is needed for uh, success of the mission. And so there's a lot of investment going on right now, and NASA trying to understand teamwork, team cohesion, especially when you have uh, a group of people that are going to live together for a long period of time in a very confined environment. Imagine if we go, four of you go on a small Winnebago to California. How will you survive that? I can tell you that uh, in Russia, we've done studies. We put uh, six people on a mock-up of a capsule for 500 days. They almost kill each other. <laughs> and so that's uh, what we're trying to, um, to study. I will tell you also, um, I have just about interviewed all of the astronauts that have been on the International Space Station over three months. None of them will volunteer to go to Mars. Uh, so the number one reason is from uh, the International Space Station, they can Skype home. And it's only like a one second delay, so they can talk to their loved ones, to their spouses, to the kids, and so forth. From Mars, the predicted time lag is 40 minutes. I say hi to you, it takes 20 minutes to get to you, and your response takes 9 or 20 minutes. Creates a lot of difficulties in trying to communicate. But the most interesting one is, um, I'm a psychologist, and the most interested is from a psychological point of view. The astronauts say from the International Space Station, we can see Earth. This beautiful picture that we see on CNN or National Geographic, those kind of things. From Mars, Earth is going to be a little dot. Complete isolation. There's no connection. And so the military, the airlines, NASA now, the corporate world, uh, the oil and gas industry have invested over 30 years or so in this. And so now there's a wealth of information, lots of data out there on, on um, teams. 